Let's begin with this show, which features six contemporary artists displaying their unique styles and technique at an exhibition in Lagos called Expo. Unearthing the hidden talents in the country and continent is the vision behind this initiative, which is not the first in the series. A silver screen arts gather young artists together to reveal their ingenuity by giving them a platform to exhibit. This particular exhibition I am doing is titled Beautiful Lies and I was just trying to address mental issues in the country currently. I was majorly inspired by a couple of my of real life experiences that happened around me, especially to close friends around me. So um, the first work, which is Beautiful Flower, was inspired by a, an 18 year old girl who committed suicide. She had posted the day before saying that she wanted to drink Sniper. And someone responded and said, drink them. And she did, and we lost that lady, you know. So for me, um, beautiful, a beautiful Flower is mostly depicting the overwhelming nature that life can be to us. Six young artists made the cut this time around in an exhibition called Expo, which shows paintings, sculptural pieces, as well as other works of art done by these ladies and gentlemen. of them have developed their skills, media and style giving uniqueness, dishing out excitement while telling the African story. Most of my work that I've seen is, is quite different from you know just drawing human figures, doing something very similar that, that almost everyone does. Um, my work basically has to be like basically explained before you can understand. So it's, it's more about a deep feeling, like expression. It has to come from within you. My work comes, always comes from within me, not what I see. It's more about my mindset at that time. I, I try to picture how everybody feels mentally because my artwork relates to the mental state of humans to be precise. So I try to picture how we all, you know, I try to picture how we humans relate in our mental states. Now, dependent who talks about how we depend solely on something. There's definitely one thing every human depends on. It could either be money for survival, it could be it could be health. You understand, we depend solely on something for survival and then that's why I created Dependent Soul as an expression of my thoughts. Art Poetry Installation, sculpture and the use of modern technology have been deployed in executing this exhibition. My work is, is basically has to do with colours, you know, when we have colours around, colours it's more of like a feeling of life, feeling of hope, like where your colours is always, um, it's always lively, colours bring life around, that's just it. I have done a series of of gas mask at work and it represents um, the climate change and environmental changes that we've been experiencing 
and in in the future what do what are, what what's the environment going to be like so i used gas mask to gas masks to depict air pollution like the, the air is going to be toxic in the nearest future how are we going to tackle it like if if the leaves are getting brown instead of green what is happening to us that was happening to our insides so that's that's one of the series of my work I'm trying to encourage people out there going through they are going through depression most 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 importantly um to to always believe that they are not the only one going through this there are so many other people going through it and at the same time you can come out of it you might be depressed because you do not have money right now but you definitely have money if you work towards it you definitely have wealth if you work towards it and also let it, let them understand that adding value is very very important because in life if you do not add value you will not be valued you understand? So adding value is also very important. We need to add value to our society. We need to add value to those around us, most, most importantly. In the picture, it shows a lot of characters. You would see um, a wealthy person wearing a gwada. That's what we call it in Nigeria, yes. Wearing a gwada and then he's carrying a briefcase that has money flying out of it. Yeah, so that depicts influential people in Nigeria. That could be, um, they could be politicians or people who like have a lot of voice in Nigeria, yes. Um, he has an earpiece on and he's just walking down to a desolate part, yeah. It's, a lot of times these people don't pay attention to what people are feeling, how peop what people are going through, the needs of the minority or people down there. If you see the, check the picture, um, the painting, you would see someone down there pleading. You know, those are the citizens left helpless you know, by the looting and embezzlement of all of money and everything. I like things like this, you know, I like to see what people have to say through their art and generally it's just amazing. I've been able to see, you know, different artists tell stories in ways that people would not even imagine and it's also great because it gives you a chance to be able to, you know, see how far your mind can go because the interpretation you'd give to a piece would be totally different from what the artists, you know, had in mind when they were creating that piece. It's really amazing. So the thing for me is I used to paint, I used to draw some time ago, but I think I just really dumped, you know, that skill somewhere. But now that I'm seeing so much artwork, you know, it's really, really inspiring. And I really think I would love to go back to my books and do something, right? So it's really, really inspiring. I think I've learned so much about how people can interpret life differently. I remember I was with a group of my friends, we were looking at one particular artwork, right? And the three of us had different interpretations for the same artwork and it all made sense. So I think I've really been inspired by everything so far. The team at Silver Screen Art is keeping their eyes peeled, scouting for more young minds with talent as light should not be hidden under the bushel.
the other young hands like them on our various social media platforms. Take a look at some of them. And these are the works of art that made the cut for this week. The Reader the Leader is an oil and canvas work done by Austin Effect. Then Kingsley Gumka is showing us this hairdo series, which is a watercolor on glossy paper work of art. Abiodun Oyeumi has this work he calls Precious, is done with oil on canvas. Then The Bride is a digital artwork done by Benjamin Ohepo. What's in view is only Elisha's pen on paper work of art. This oil painting on canvas miniature, which shows a road in Lagos called the Gondo, is done by Glory Aroture. Then finally is this work done by Timothy Olalekon, it's called The Dancer. It's done with mixed media. And those are the works of art you sent in this week. We do encourage you to keep them coming. And don't forget, put the relevant information beside that image. <laughs>